an integrating factor of the differential equation dy over dx is equal to 2xy square plus y upon x minus 2y cube. This is the differential equation and we have to find the integrating factor. So first to uh, understand what is the integrator, integrating factor or its meaning. Integrating factor is the function of xy which make the differential equation uh, as a exact linear differential equation. So as uh, we have to find integrating factor so we can understand this given differential equation is not exact means if you find to check the condition check uh, the condition of exactness which uh, is uh, partial m with respect to y which one not equal to partial n with respect to x so this condition is uh, true for this if uh, it will be the exact then uh, equality hold in uh, partial derivatives of m in n as uh, i wrote so you can see partial derivative of m in n so this is not uh, exact differential equation now to make this uh, differential equation exact uh, we have to multiply some function of x y suppose x raised to the power alpha and y raised to the power is the integrating factor for this differential equation but uh, as you can see options a b c and d so x is not involved here it means uh, you can directly say that value of alpha is zero but we have to find the value of beta so consider this one and uh, this uh, integrating factor makes the differential equation exact so now we have to find what is the new m and n so m1 will be 2x raised to the power because of m dx so 2x raised to the power alpha plus 1 y raised to the power beta plus 2 plus x raised to the power alpha y raised to the power beta plus 1 this is the value of m n sorry m1 and uh, this is the value of n1 will be minus x raised to the power alpha plus 1 and y raised to the power beta plus 2 raised to the power alpha y raised to the power beta plus 3 now check because this is the integrating factor and uh, now this makes uh, differential equation exact so we have to put this condition partial m1 with respect to y is equal to partial n1 with respect to x this condition is true so now we have to find partial derivative of m1 and mn sorry n1 so it will give you 2 beta plus 2 raise x raised to the power alpha plus 1 and y raised to the power beta plus 1 1 power less plus x raised to the power alpha so this is beta plus 1 x raised to the power alpha and y raised to the power beta is equal to minus of alpha plus 1 x raised to the power alpha y raised to the power beta plus 2 alpha x raised to the power alpha minus 1 and y raised to the power beta plus 3 so this condition this uh, term is uh, having x uh, raised to the power alpha and y raised to the power beta also this uh, one this one and this one so we take uh, x raised to the power alpha beta as a common or we can divide this equation throughout so we obtain after dividing so this one equal to 2 times beta plus 2 and uh, x raised to the power alpha is divided so xy plus beta plus 1 is equal to minus of alpha plus 1 plus 2 times alpha and it will be x minus x raised to the power minus 1 and y raised to the power 3 so we obtained this expression so you can compare coefficients so this is a constant terms so on comparing constant terms so beta plus 1 is equal to minus alpha plus 1 this implies alpha plus beta is equal to minus alpha 
this one is like this so minus 2 and uh, we know that uh, uh, as options if alpha equal to 0 this implies that beta equal to minus 2 so we have the value of beta now means uh, as we consider x raised to the power alpha and y raised to the power beta is the integrating factor value of alpha is 0 so integrating factor will be 1 upon y square so finally we have the solution otherwise you can compare the coefficient of x y this implies that 2 beta plus 2 is equal to 0 also this one is giving you beta is equal to minus 2 otherwise you can compare coefficient of x raised to the power minus 1 and y raised to the power 3 this will this one will give you as value of alpha is 0 now put the value of in this one and you can find the value of beta so we have option b is the correct answer